The diverse organisms alive today share a common heritage of genes and proteins, many of whose nucleotide and amino acid sequences can be compared and traced backwards in evolution to reveal a history that is remarkably similar and even more accurate than the first evolutionary trees generated based on morphological similarities between organisms. In this example, ribosomal RNAs that are part of the structure of the small ribosomal subunit in different species were compared. We can see a few base substitutions found in different species in the highlighted part of the sequence. Here's another version of the sequence that was originally up here. Here's yet another. And finally a third one. Note, by the way, that this RNA molecule is shown highly folded due to internal hydrogen bonding. When these small ribosomal subunit rRNAs or ribosomal RNAs for many different species are compared, it's possible to group the species by how close their rRNA sequences are. This is a molecular taxonomy. By this analysis, all species in the world today can be grouped into three major domains the bacteria, the archaea, and the eukarya. Using computers to pick the shortest possible pathways by which base differences between the RNA in these species could have occurred, that is to say, pathways which involve the least number of base changes to get from one species to the next, it's actually possible to infer a common ancestry of related species, and ultimately, of all existing species. One can even infer a reasonable base sequence for the small ribosomal RNA subunit for each of the ancestral species, including the progenote down at the bottom.